In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the Class 158 Express Sprinter diesel multiple unit that some argue are still amongst the best DMUs on the network, despite them being over 30 years old. The units, which are part of the Sprinter family, were constructed between 1989 and 1992 by British Rail Engineering Limited, or BREL, at their Litchurch Lane works in Derby, with a total of 182 constructed. The vast majority of the units were two-car trains, however around 20 were constructed as three-car sets. The units are capable of travelling at 90 miles per hour or 144 kilometers per hour, with power coming from diesel engines mounted underneath each carriage. There were actually three engine variants fitted to the units, with some fitted with Cummins NTA 855R1 engines that produced about 350 horsepower. Others were fitted with a Perkins 2006 TWH engine that also produced 350 horsepower, while some units were fitted with a more powerful Cummins NTA 855R3 engine that produced up to 400 horsepower. The majority of the units entered service with regional railways and operated on a number of routes across the country from the Pennines to services across Wales and in the southwest. However, the first units to enter service did so with ScotRail, then part of British Rail, and operated between Glasgow and Edinburgh. Current operators of the DMUs include East Midlands Railway, Great Western Railway, Northern Trains, Transport for Wales and South West Railway. South West Railway operates both Class 158s and Class 159s, which were converted from Class 158s in the early 1990s. As far as I can make out, the upgrade carried out by Babcock Rail entailed fitting retention tanks and first class. Other than that, there doesn't appear to be that much difference between the three car Class 158s and the Class 159s, which are all three cars. I could be wrong, and if there are any other differences, let me know in the comments below. The footage for this video was filmed on a number of Transport for Wales units that were refurbished between 2020 and 2022. The work to refurbish the units included adding USB charging points, recovering the seats, and installing new carpets and new interior fittings. Work was also carried out to improve the reliability of the units, which included installing wheel slip protection and improvements to the electrical and heating systems. Transport for Wales currently operates 24 Class 158s on routes across the Wales and Borders network, from North Wales to Manchester, Manchester to South Wales and Hollyhead to Cardiff. All of TFW's Class 158s are fitted with the ERTMS, or European Railway Traffic Management System, to allow them to work on the Cambrian line between Shrewsbury, Aberystwyth and Pithelly. TFW's two-car Class 158s have two toilets, with one PRM compliant toilet and one non-accessible toilet. Despite this, the two-car units still have a respectable seating capacity of around 140, yet they do not feel cramped. Legroom on the airline seats seems ample, and there's good quality pull-down table in front. There seems to be a good mix between airline and table seats, and there appears to be more table seats on the Class 158s than there are on the new Class 197s being introduced on Wales and Borders services. The recovered seats are soft and comfortable, and I particularly like the headrests, which allows you to rest your head to one side and gives you good support. Class 158s might not be around much longer on Wales and Borders routes, as the Class 197s, which finally began to enter service at the end of last year, seem to be being introduced at pace, with 197s now operating on the route between Chester and Liverpool, and service between Llandidno Junction and Manchester Airport, with proving runs now taking place on the Marches line. So, if you want to experience a Class 158 on a Wales and Borders route, then you may have to be quick. The jury does seem to be out over whether the 30-year-old Class 158s are better than the newer Class 197s, especially as the former only has one toilet and the two car units actually have less seats than Class 158s, but I think that's a debate for another day. Whether or not I think they're the best DMUs on the network, I'd have to say that, in my opinion, that honour goes to the Class 175 Caradia, also operated by Transport for Wales. That's not to say the 158s aren't good units, but they do seem a little bit tired, and the unit I rode from Shrewsbury to Chester certainly seemed very noisy, in comparison to say a Class 170, Class 175, or even Class 197. But having said that, I think they could be around for another 5-10 to 10 years, and despite not being much younger, could be used to replace Class 156s and Class 150s on certain routes. And I'm sure there are plenty of Northern passengers who'll be glad if their rattly Class 150s were replaced with Class 158s. So there we have it, that's a little bit of information about the Class 150. I hope you found this video informative, if you have then please do hit that like button and consider subscribing, it really does help the channel get noticed and helps the channel to grow. Just before I sign off, I'd like to say a big thank you to my Patreon and Ko-Fi supporters whose support helps to pay towards travel and expenses so I can continue to create videos like this. Your support really is appreciated, so thank you. 
if you'd like to consider becoming a patron there's a link to my page in the description below or alternatively purchases made on my Redbubble page also help towards funding the channel with a link to my Redbubble gallery also in the description below but I'm going to leave it there for today so until next time bye bye